stage picks or stage strikes have happened. We're starting FD, not very common. So characters are locked in. I did not see who J Crew Min -min. locked into. Mint mm. Min Min versus Pokemon Trainer. Oh, this is this is gonna be a test. This is gonna be an endurance test for Devin. I don't know how much Min Min <laughs> he is familiar with personally. This is a hard matchup for PJ. I believe I it. I can say at least that. I, I believe it, 100. percent Yeah, Pokemon Trainer relying so much on just getting up and close, and Min Min does not like to let you do that. Oh, okay, but Devin here. That almost. Spicy. So Min Min's recovery is so bad. Yeah. If J Crew had mashed up B immediately after getting hit, he would have missed. He would have died for it. And that would have been the greatest uh, start to this game. But no, no. J Crew is familiar with this character's shortcomings. And that's it. Yeah, great. That's, that's it, there right? By that's Devin. it right there. You it's just gone. Spoke it into existence right there. But Devin doing a great job, playing pretty patient, finding his openings, jumping around the arms. Which makes me wonder, what was the, what do you think would be the deciding factor in starting FD for a Min Min? Honestly, I'm not 100% sure. Maybe it's just a comfort fit pick, to be honest. Could be. It's, yeah. it's everyone's comfort pick on a leech smash. Yeah, for sure. And I actually have never seen uh, J. Crew in the time that I've been coming to Xeno, but maybe they it's just... They are new to me as well. Yeah, yes. maybe it, it could be, you know, a first time thing, trying to feel it out, see what Devin has in store for him, so... Devin, Dragon Devin. is still powered up, but yeah. uh, nothing, not making use of it yet. Yeah, Devin doing a good job of racking up some extra damage on this second stop. Oh, that was almost it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now, from what I've seen with Min Min, the arms you stay locked into tells you a lot of how they like to play. Like, mm. J. Crew is not, I don't think J. Crew has used Ram Ram once since the game began, opting to stay with Megawatt and playing Dragon Arm. Yeah, it seems like J. Crew is very happy and excited to just scrap with you. But speaking of which, switch to the Ram is. Ram. Oh, okay, good. So Sonic being a little more on, on that topic you were just saying. So the Ram Ram more so trying to camp you out, you would say, trying to... Absolutely. Yeah, you know, you could, you could hit uh, projectiles with it, correct? But the uh, Ram? Or the up smash. Um, up smash reflects them. Ram Ram can beat some like weak projectiles like Mario Fireball, mm. things of that nature. What about uh, Razor Leaf? Did he keep the jump? Yes, he did, but it does not matter anyway. And Razor Leaf, I'm not sure, but that Devin is more of a Squirtle player of, mm, okay. uh, of the three Pokemon, right? But It shows both the kills he got with Squirtle just edge guarding. But it is true, what, what you said, does uh, Ram Ram beat Laser, Razor Leaf? That might have been why he was locked into Megawatt most of the Oh, that's a fun Now, Devin had a very strong start, but uh, I'm not going to count J. Crew out yet. I, I don't know this person. Yeah, J. Crew's starting to turn it on. They could be a last stock survivor. Yeah, almost bringing it back to completely even, but looks like J. Crew now is picking up on some of De Devin's uh, tendencies. And Oh, whoa. my God. <laughs> just sent him back. Yeah, just said, get out of my face. There are very few moves that uh, can actually hit Squirtle out of withdraw, mm. but they have to be absurdly powerful. Yeah. Ooh. Devin almost catching the, ed the edge guard again with the neutral air. Oh my god. Oh, d what's Look, happening? Looking for the grab. We are trying to grab folks out here. Staying on Megawatt to get that kill. I don't know if I'd stay Squirtle at this percent. Yeah, starting to get a bit dicey here for Devin, but let's see if he can close it out. Using a lot of water gun. Makes sense, right? Because it... As soon as Jay's throwing out those arms and he's throw and Devin's Ooh. throwing the water gun, it's like limiting the reach of the arm, which is pretty nice. Smart move by Devin, honestly, to do that. Oh my lord. Yeah, but this is super close. Mm. We're on last hit, last stock. Can Devin make it back? He okay. There we go. Caught the mm, but caught the Pokemon change with the Megawatt. That I know that arm lingers a little bit after uh Min, Min throws it out. That might be also why uh J. Crew opted to keep it out for as long as they did. Yeah. Game one going to J. Crew 21, proving that uh, I might have a not great recovery, but don't count me out yet. Absolutely. I got two noodles and I know how to use them. <laughs> J. Crew definitely did a good job of keeping his composure and battling back. These two edge guards would have been. These are really good. I love these. Yeah, Devin Boop. did such a strong job using those neutral airs to catch the uh, double jump. But speaking of catching some jumps, here's J. Crew. Yeah, he got. Sending, sending Charizard down to got knocked a little too far away and yeah. th this was the beginning of the end. 
Right. Because he got caught off without his double jump, and then... The megawatt there getting it done. That that begs the question, though. Why why did he opt to change after getting off ledge? Was he trying to... Because my, my mindset when you do that, right, is you want the invulnerability to, like, maybe get a punish... Oh. Oh. <laughs> we're oh, ca we're counterpicking oh, now. Hold on a minute. Min Min Steve Komain, all right? That sounds so toxic. <laughs> I, I can say that. That sounds diabolical. We are back on FD for game these, two. These are, I don't know how versed Devin is fighting Steve either, but... Oh, man. Saying that Min Min, you know, clutch it out, but maybe a little too close for my liking. I'm just going to prep the wall and uh, let my crafting skills speak for themselves. I wonder why the switch to Steve, because notoriously, Pokemon Trainer does pretty well against Steve, if not one of Steve's few harder matchups. So it's uh, it's generally agreed upon from players of both good heavens, players of both characters that uh, Ivysaur destroys Steve. Right. That said, Devin doesn't play Ivysaur that often. I feel like the Min Min was just a, a mix-up. This Steve is cooking right now. Yeah, that, that actually might be J. Cruz Tremaine, now that you mention it. Yeah. Look at these traps that he's setting up with the blocks into the ambit. Oh. You have to respect that. You do. Oh, yeah. Th did you see the way he mined that? That, <laughs> that? That's a Steve main. This is a Steve main for sure. We got the Ivysaur out. Let's see if we can rack on some percent. Okay. Oh. One thing that's tough about battling really good Steves is the way they set up ledge traps. Mm -hmm. It's just, in, uh, it's unreal. That said, they're, ooh, good catch. Okay. Had to switch to uh, make it back to like, oh, but you're also a big body. Yeah. Right, and Mark. J. Crew's stacked on materials right now, but it's. Irons out. Yeah. Or was. Oh, that was, I want to say down smash. Might have had just enough time to force it out. Oh, the but the end vote blocking him from uh, catching the punish with the dash attack. Oh my good lord. And to your point earlier, I do wonder how much experience Devin has playing against Steve's. I, I know at least at, at Xeno and Tri-State, we do have a lot of Steve's that come through. Steve, so. Steve is everywhere. We're just going to yeah. say that. Steve is Steve multiplied. Is in your dreams, in your nightmares. Steve has multiplied beyond the mortal realm. Yeah. Now he inhabits the astral plane and inhabits the body of at least Oh, at least one PR player every season, it feels like. Right. Oh, Lord. Oh, my God. But you can die! Oh! Called that out. Use the use the uh, mining box as, or excuse me, the crafting table as a means of extending the hitbox. The set goes to... J. Crew. J. Crew. Or, wait. Oh, that is his name. J. Yeah, Crew. yeah, you're right. Wait a minute. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. I got a... Uh, I got, got mixed bamboo. up myself. Yeah. Well, J.Crew oh, showing man. us that they are competent with not only one Fighter Pass 2 character, or not one no. DLC character, but No, they're two. both they're both Fighter Pass Oh, two. they're both? Okay, awesome. Min Min was the first one. Yep. And what an interesting start. And a spelling of the beginning of the end, frankly. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, well, watch this. So, switches out. And probably catching on Devin's habits from... I'm trying to pause Second it. game. No, it won't pause. Oh. There you go. Oh, there you go. You got it. Oh. And then one, one frame. One, two. <laughs> In hand. I want to see how active it was. Let's see. One. Not yet. Not so yet. He, okay. sw he already one, swung. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, oh, thirteen, what? fourteen. Ew. Wow. Because he hit the crafting table, but, you know. Oh. Good heavens. Steve. That F smash just stayed out there. He said, Jeez. you're going to get hit by this no matter what. Wait, that hold is, on. That is so unfortunate. I, want, I wanted to do a little drawing there, but... Bring it back. Nonetheless, nonetheless, block man getting it done. <laughs> it yeah. is what it is. The, the folks at home have seen him nusty for now. Yeah, absolutely. And Which, I, I'm pretty sure we won't see that from either of these players sitting down right now. We have King with a 1 versus Make Make.